Box Nation with me. I've got the Commonwealth champion Liam Williams. What's happening, Liam? You all right, mate? Yeah, very good. Thanks, mate. Good, yep. good. Also joined by trainer Gary Lockett. How are you, Gary? <clears throat> all good. All that's, good. That's what I like to change. That's what I like to hear. I'm just catching a quick glimpse of your hand, Liam. It's been a little while since I've seen you. How, how is the hand, mate? Yes, um, obviously, I'm quite a long time out now. Um, two operations late. I'm, I'm back now and it's working well. It's not looking the best, but it's, it's working well, so yeah, we're happy. Can you explain to us what, what the problem was initially and then what the treatment has you've incurred since then, mate, please? Yeah, we um, I boxed over in Germany on the Bremer and Macronelli on the card. Um, I broke my hand. Um, it just went from there really, it was just, it just got worse every fight and it ended up being that my tendon was stuck to my bone. Fused, no? Uh, yeah, fused to the bone and they had to just, you know, release it and whatever, so it took, took quite a long time, it's been 12 months now, but it's all sorted and we back sparring and, you know, just doing everything as we should be, so it's, it's all going good. I imagine that was quite a frustrating period for yourself. Mm. You you ca captured the Commonwealth title, yeah. beating Michael Lomax. Good good win for yourself and good to capture that belt. So I, I expect you was looking to push on and gain a bit of momentum at that time. Yeah, definitely. Um, after that fight, we was looking to obviously go for the British title, which we got a shot at now. Um, but it's obviously held me back 12 months. Um, but yeah, what can I say? It's just what's happened has happened and here we are and now we get a shot. So. I'm, I'm pleased. Can you talk to me a little bit about this British title shot? Yeah, well, it's um, it's against Chris Carslow. Chris Carslow. One uh, eliminated himself. Isn't yeah, he's he's been uh, eliminated himself. So, you know, we both we obviously both up the fight we've prepared and everything. So, he's a Scottish guy, as you probably know. Um, decent record, been about for quite a while. Um, he's he's obviously experienced, so it's going to be a good fight. There was a lot of talk of yourself facing Liam Smith for the British British title at some mm. point. You was mandatory for that to face Liam before he obviously won the WBO world title. Yeah. Liam Smith facing Jimmy Kelly, someone you fought before in the amateurs on the 19th of December. How, how do you see that fight playing out? Um, obviously a lot of people are saying Jimmy Kelly doesn't really deserve it. What, is, what has he done? You know, But um, I think you know he's got a shot and he's going to grab with both hands. He's going to He's going to work his hardest, and I, th I think he'll put up a pretty decent fight. But I think the outcome will be that Smith will win probably late on. Do you think it's a win win situation for Jimmy Kelly? He's got a chance to fight for the WBO title. He may <clears> not have got that opportunity again. So he's got to grab that chance with both hands and try and seize the day. Yeah, of course. He's, um, he's, he's getting offered that fight. It's a big fight for him, which um, has come quite soon, obviously. So he ain't, he's never going to turn it down. It's obviously in his hometown. Uh, he's he's probably the best uh, available opponent, you know, in the WBO who's ranked. So, yeah, you know, he's he's going to go for it. He's going to try and grab with both hands, isn't he? Have you got one eye on that fight? And would you potentially like to get in the mix to face the winner of that fight? Yeah, I'd love to. Uh, obviously, I got I got my own business to deal with, but as long as I come out on top in this fight, which I'm pretty confident I will do, you know, I'd love to. Maybe just get myself a, you know, WBO European, WBO Intercontinental, just to get a good ranking, and I'd, I'd love that fight. It'd be definitely very good. I want to cast your mind to December twelfth, Enzo Macronelli, someone you'll both know pretty well, in action, taking on Roy Jones Jr. for the WBO Super Title. Firstly, how how pleased are you for for some for people that have known Enzo a long time to see him get this kind of opportunity? Yeah, I'm very happy. Um, well, everyone's very happy for him. He's He's worked hard. He's had, a, you know, a lot of ups and downs, but he's, you know, he's never give up and he's kept working hard. So I think he really deserves this fight, and uh, he's looking very good in the gym. I, I think, you know, I think he can do it. I think he can knock Roy Jones out. Mr. Lockett, sir, how do you assess Enzo's <coughs> chances of being victorious in Russia? Well, it's, it's a really funny one with Enzo because I think as long as maybe five, six years ago, people were saying that Enzo should retire, and then. You know, let's backtrack to I think it was 2013 when he knocked out Oval McKenzie. No one said anything. He never really got the credit for that fight that he deserved. You know, and when we walked out to the fight, um, in uh, you know in Cardiff, I think you know I was very nervous, and there was an eerie atmosphere in in Cardiff that night. And it was um, it was a night that um, cleverly fought um, Kovalev, 
it's quite an eerie atmosphere and it was almost as if the atmosphere was as if it was going to be the end of Enzo's career and look you know he, he was very um, I think he was very underconfident at the time I think there was you know, demons in his mind from what had gone on before a couple of knockouts and whatnot but you know, he, he got the job done. He took some huge hits off Oval. You know, mainly um, there was one in the seventh round which nearly snapped his neck, wasn't there? Which was unbelievable. He came through that, and he, he you know, he came from behind in the early mm. rounds. I thought he was behind anyway, but he was up on the judges' scorecards in the end. But and he, he won that fight, and he was unlucky against Bremer. So you know, he's a he's a better fighter now than what he was. You know, um, you know when people said he was very very vulnerable. Um, you know, he's. Bit of arch on the back now. His chin's down. His hands are up. He's moving his, he's moving the top half his body a little bit more, and he's he's using his jab a little bit more, not being so gung ho. So, um, you know, Enzo, um, what was he going to do? You know, a lot of people saying that you know it's a, it's, a, it's a daft fight and whatnot, but Enzo wasn't getting any opportunities anywhere else, and all of a sudden this opportunity, Roy Jones comes up for a for a world title. Um, I think the WBA at one point said it wasn't going to be for their title, but. Vlad Rudolph has announced that it is definitely for the title. So, you know, what was he going to do? Turn it down. Um, he's got a great opportunity, and obviously I'm his trainer, and we work very closely together. And I'm very confident, very very confident in it. Is there something you've seen in Roy Jones Jr. that makes you think that age has caught him up a little bit? He he's always outspoken. He's obviously still very competitive. Yeah. He trains very hard. But is there something you've seen personally that makes you confident <clears> in Enzo? can go to Russia and be victorious. Well, I'll be honest, you know, the last time I saw Roy Jones was when he got knocked out by um, Dennis Lebedev. I've not seen him since. I believe he's strung together, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, quite a list of um, wins against nobody in particular. Uh, but I don't really I don't really focus on, on the other opponent, if I'm honest. You know, I try to focus on we're, what we're going to do. Um, Roy Jones is far, far, far past his best. Um, he's even far past... You know the the Roy Jones of Fort Joe Calzaghe, um, who was slightly past his best then, uh, maybe. Um, but you know, obviously Joe did a job on him that night, and you know, and boxed really, really well. Um, but I think Roy's he's a different fighter even to that fighter now. So um, I don't really read too much into what the other opponent does. You know, I just concentrate on as long as Enzo keeps the form that we that we want to keep, and he does what we want him to do. I, I'm sure that he can come out victorious. All right. Well, listen. We wish Enzo the best of luck out in Russia hopefully he goes out there and does the job Cheers. we do appreciate you lads talking to the cast and help the yeah. show it's great to get you on and uh, we'll see you again real Cheers, soon Cheers James good man everybody thanks